Hey guys, Alpha Troop is back with another video. Um, remember we left off? We finally finished the prologue. So what you see right now is the start of chapter one. We should be really, really getting this game going. You know, first murder, first trial, and I'm ready for the ride. Um, as always, guys, if you're enjoying the videos, please, please show your support. I mean, Alpha Troop is in the building. I would love to see them likes, some subscribers, and I'm ready, ready to keep this let's play going of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. So enough of me rambling and on with the show. After Monokuma and the Mono Cubs left, an alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Not just from mine, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym. Which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Okay, well, let's see how long is our foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. Okay, okay, similar rules as before. If the blanket, if the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackened is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed, and it's game over. If the blackened survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Okay, let me just say one thing. We're guaranteed to have two students only? That's the plan according to that sentence. Now, that's a little different from what I remember in the previous Danganronpas. They didn't really care who was left at the end. So, okay, okay. Keep that in mind. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 in the morning, a.m. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. In other words, just make sure you look around. If it says do not cross, do not cross. Of course, we're going to be crossing everything, man. We're above the law. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the extensions. Okay. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any time. No, we're not kidding. We're not. Maybe you'll never, but can't say it, speak for the rest of your classmates now, can ya? Like I said, maybe you won't, Kaide, but everyone else is not thinking like you are. Okay, okay. Chapter 1 <clears throat> The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juvenile School Regulation so these are the rules. I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. 
But the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. That's not the problem. Anosa, please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Soda. Hey, hey! What does the six regulation mean? Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people? Yeah, Suichi has a point. You can't really do a trial with just two people. Then again, three people is not a very effective trial either. <laughs> I see, I see. You're so smart, Suichi. <laughs> Quit screwing around. Killing game? School regulations? <laughs> to hell with all that crap! Who would go along with something like that? Kaito raised the monopan as if to smash the device on the ground. Whoa, hey now. Don't do that. You see, you see this guy? He's trying to be the voice of reason. But then again, maybe he just wants a fair killing game. And if Rantaro was to I mean, if Kaito was to break that, I guess Rantaro knows he probably would die or has that hunch. School rules say you can't break it. If you violate the rules, then the Accensors will dispose of you. I don't care about the rules! No way I'm gonna play this messed up game! Yeah. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. Forget about him! It just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Hey! Who are you calling a dumbass? I took a deep breath, then shouted with all my might. <laughs> hey! Quit fighting already! <laughs> whoa! Take it easy, man. Drake and Josh reference. I probably would do that all the time I see whoa. What? What? The? <laughs> we shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right now, we need to work together. Mm. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Chopin's military policy would definitely help us unite. Yeah, I could get behind some bolognese and I don't even like meat or tomatoes. I agree with Kaede too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Uh... Anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm, like me. Ah! Wow, you're shaking so much. Even I can't handle those intense vibrations. And trust me. I've got loads of experience. Maybe she doesn't, she's just saying that. Yeah. Anyway, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? Yeah. But we looked all over the wall and there wasn't a single hole. Now wait just a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how did we get inside these walls in the first place? Oh, good point. E. That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Mm. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. Yo. So let's show them that we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna fight each other. We're gonna work together, okay?
who's not agreeing with this plan. Usually three dots means someone is on the fence about this. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? On the contrary. You made your case with such succinct apalm that we've been rendered speechless. Heh, <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Oh! You're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Hura, hura. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Oh, Atua, give us strength! I must admit, I admire your spirit. Oh, wait. Yeah, what is it? We were just about to get started. Um, maybe it not much matter much, but... Gunta, find Manholm earlier, in grass behind school building. A uh, manhole? Going to peek in. See big underground passage. Think maybe it exits. Sorry. It's probably not so simple. You gotta mention important stuff like that much faster. Going to peek in. See big underground passage. Think maybe exit. I don't know why the font was like that, but like all scrunched up. That's hard to say. Oh, wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please lead the way. Look up there. Okay. Everyone follow Gunta. With Gunta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. Kaede. That was pretty cool back there. Huh? What was? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. Besides me, of course, because I'm too cool, swaggy. Look at my shirt, my obviously green dyed hair, my chain. Looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart, is all. So, it just comes naturally to you then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. I don't like that line at all, guys. Why is he so fixated on winning this game? <laughs> what? Doto I was just thinking what you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands working together. <laughs> They're going to come for you, Kaide, with everything they got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so straightforward. Oh. And away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. So Ah, uh, perhaps it's a warning. That's what I think anyway. Being strong will to get you are into a lot of trouble around here. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? Yeah. Mentaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really forget? Well, there's no use thinking about it now. You should just head to that manhole. Ah, 
you're right. Okay, so I'm just gonna look for like the the profiles of people. Let me see, where do you find that map? That's the map, okay. Two bullets, present. I mean one of them is from the demo, the nail thing. Report card, there you go, there you go. So remember when I was gonna do friend or foe? I just wanna update you guys on that. Just who I think is a friend and who I know or feel is a foe. Because like I just have a gut feeling that some of these guys in my mind are good, some of them are bad. So okay, we start off with Kaide. Obviously, if she's us, I have her as a friend. Kirumi. I obviously have her as one of our friends. I, I think we can trust her. Her diligence is going to pay off. She seems very honest. So, I trust her. The mage. Yes, she may be in denial that she's really a magician. But she, at the end of the day, I feel like she just wants respect for her craft. And calling it a mage just shows how she really is dedicated to her cause you know like her magic isn't so simple it's like you know um, what a mage is capable of maki um i trust her i think she'll be the one that will be very cynical throughout every every trial you'll see tenko i think she'll accidentally kill someone and probably be manipulated to killing a guy because they'll take advantage of her phobia. Samugi, um, with her, I, I generally feel like she's someone we can trust. Um, again, she's passionate about cosplay, and I think she's going to like help us get insight as to like what it means to dress up and be a character. Well, I think it's going to be used for good, but I could be completely wrong on that. Angie, um, another one who might be comic relief, and that you know makes her a good guy if you're a comic relief character. But I, I think Danga Robo might have a surprise for me, so I'm putting her down as a foe because I can't seem to trust a person who's too got into her own world and God. And Atua seems doesn't seem like always a reasonable God, and she's all over the place. Miyu, um, okay, um, I do trust her, she's just someone who wants to put out a facade of she's tough, she's been through a lot of things, like, that's considered popular or something, but I trust her overall because when you, like, confront her and call her out on her bullshit, she backs away and just becomes submissive, so I think she's someone that puts on a tough guy facade or a tough girl facade, but we trust her. Suichi. Again, like I said back in I think episode one, he's either our best friend or our worst enemy because he woke up with us. So I think he's our worst enemy because he downplays himself. He's very humble about being a detective. So I'm very weary of when he says, Oh, I'm not that good at this, or oh, don't thank me. I'm very weary of that because I think he is trying to stay fly under the radar and try to be our friend. Kaito, big shot, know it all, tries to be the the voice of like inspiration, but just fails at it. So he's a good guy, just someone who who's generally gonna do a lot of uh, talking, but not a lot of uh, action. Ryoma, I think he's gonna be the one that's misunderstood just because he killed before. It just doesn't seem like, okay, he's gonna kill again because he's in, in this situation. Now, I grant, granted, he might have someone that provokes him. And if provoked, he might kill. But as of right now, he's someone who's very, you know, hardened because he's been to prison. And I trust him, and I think he's a friend of ours. Rantaro, again, if he doesn't know thing, his, like his talent, but he knows so much about the, the game itself and is very trying to win, that's too shady to be trusted, so I think he's a fault. Gonta, 
again I like going to big strong um, raised by wolves if I remember correctly I trust him Kokichi I don't trust him because his supreme leader talent could be used mostly for bad and he seems too mischievous to be trusted he might kill someone just to prove that he's some sort of supreme leader and back up his uh, ultimate Kurikio um he's too shady man I just don't trust him so he's a four in my book and then K1DO or Kibo for short he's awesome to me like he's a robot and he's gonna be cool I think uh, I trust him completely so just to run it down friend 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 foe friend foe friend foe friend friend foe friend foe foe friend and since we're in chapter one I'm going to make our first uh, prediction on who dies and who who does it so um let's try to be a little uh, interesting okay I'm gonna guess for our first murder that Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna say... Alright, where, where is he? I'm gonna say Suichi is our first murderer. And he's gonna take out... Am I gonna be that bold and say he takes out... Hmm... Alright, I'm going to be bold. I think he takes out Kibo. I think something about those two are not going to mix. And I think Suichi takes out Kibo. That's what I'm going to say in Chapter 1. Because I'm familiar. I think they're going to give us a big bang to start us off. And seeing him, the ultimate robot, go down first would be mind-blowing. But what would be even more mind-blowing is the detective doing it. So let, let's see how that works out. To reach. And I hope that didn't take too long, guys. We probably shouldn't waste our time thinking about things like that. Yeah, let's catch up with the others. Okay, let's leave this room. We're going to investigate a manhole. Is it in here? No, it's still locked. You know, in previous Dangar Ropos, we always had like a meeting place, if I remember correctly. Like the kitchen or the restaurant. Oh look, a Monokuma toy. Let's interact with it. Or smack it, I don't know. Oh! He was a hidden Monokuma. Wow, that levels us up. And we got a trophy for that. Nice. So I'll keep a lookout for those little uh, wind-up Monokumas. I'm guessing they're going to be different for each chapter or something, you know, like... The manhole is behind the school building. I need to catch up with everyone. 
Okay, catching up with everything. Do you really want us to do it? Alright, so it's behind the school building, so I have to get out. Okay, here we go, here we go. And we're running. And I think I ran too much? Did I run too much? Yeah, I ran too much. There you go. This was the exit. Whoa! That's ex okay, so the exit shoes are in play. Okay. Hmm. Okay. If I get lost really badly, guys, I mean, just for now, I mean. My sense of direction could, could be better. I'll admit that. But, ooh. Like I said, this building is huge. Hey, I'm not a genius or nothing like that. But, yeah, it, that was a door behind a bunch of plants. I wonder where this that door leads to. I don't think it's an exit, but it bothers me. It should. It should bother you. Nice boiler room. What, what? Well, besides for the grass everywhere, boiler room looks nice. Looks like we're all here. So where's this manhole? It's all... um over there in grass. Okay, let me just talk to everyone and see what they're thinking. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all of these weeds. This place could definitely use a groundskeeper. Yeah, me and Kokichi agree. The weeds make this boiler room look weird, but it's a nice boiler room if you get rid of the weeds. Right, Keyboy? Why are you telling me that? Furthermore, I would prefer you address me as Kibo. But you can pull weeds, right, Keyboy? I can do all sorts of things. Just as well as any person. As well as any person? But you're not a person. That's discrimination. Robophobic discrim discrimination. I trouble on discrimination. Whoa. Parent of. We should investigate the manhole right away. If it's an exit. It only, it's only a matter of time until Monokuma comes for us. Who's up? Now is not the time to be shouting and celebrating. Even if this really is the exit, it's all over if Monokuma catches us. So sad. I agree. We need to be quick about this. You know how they say be quick about it, but I'm just taking my sweet time? The crown opens before us, as though inviting us downward. Once we are swallowed by darkness, will we be able to return to the light? Nanekujiga! <laughs> Quit wasting my time, you kooky bitch! Hurry up already! Chop chop! Wow! Wow! It's like a super secret entrance! I'm so excited! Atua is just as excited as I am! Cause... I know, cause he told me! You just be crazy. You're, you're a special snowflake, aren't you, Angie? So a manhole was hidden in this place, like this, huh? In a place like this. Sorry guys, 
Well, you can't hide stuff from the eyes of Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. But go to founder. He sure did. He sure did. Go to bit finder. There's a monitor here too. That aside, this is a rather remote location to install a communication device. It's a pointless expenditure. Wouldn't you agree? Down the manhole, huh? Do you think there are creepy creatures down there? <laughs> What's there to be afraid of? Even if the rats are as big as cats, Himiko can just blast them away with her magic. That's not possible. If I use my magic down there, the entire passage might explode. <laughs> oh, your magic's so powerful! Well then, though I may be unworthy, I will protect you, Himiko. Hmm, I'll leave it to you. I like to see the little friendships forming between Himiko and uh, Tenko. Their names rhyme, oddly enough. Hurry up. Don't you want to escape from here? Be careful, or those monsters might appear again. Nah. Are you feeling down? Do you want some magic powder to cheer you up? Yeah. It's not a dangerous kind of powder, is it? Who knows? Who knows? I guess that's part of the magic, right? Figuring out what kind of powder that is. Maybe, maybe turns you invisible. So. There's even grass out here. Ah, be careful of the roots, everybody. Thank you, Suichi, for looking out for us clumsy folk. Um, I think that's everybody we talked to. Anyone hiding? Uh, yeah, I think that's everyone. Gonti. Alright, Gonti. What's wrong? Manhole in grass over there. Okay, so... Alright, uh, I might use, let me see, detective vision, detective vision. Oh, look at that. I would not have found that without detective vision. It's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. An important hole near some bush? Sound familiar, am I right, ladies? Oh, this manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? I can try. Kibo places his hands on the manhole cover, and before his strength, he... How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Huh? A robot not even strong enough to move it? Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen, which means not much. That's fucking pathetic! <laughs> the professor did not want a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Um, now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Oh, then allow Gonta. Going to lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Going to place his hands on the manhole cover and. Oopsie daisy. So easily? I don't know, make it into Captain America's shield. Throw it away. 
人に当たらないように気をつけてね本当はポイ捨てはマナー違反だからダメなんだ It is rude to litter. It is very rude. But with nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, g o i n g t o begrudgingly toss it aside. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. Keep, keep, keep. <laughs> What wonderful s h o i n g I'm giving him the gold dust voice. <laughs> you could likely crush the child's skull with ease. So, n a k u t o s i n a y o How ungentlemanly! Gonta, never do that! <laughs> Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. <laughs> But Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean counting robot! <laughs> Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting up from it. This, this place is kinda creepy. We're really going in here? Oh! I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. Foreshadowing, Kaito? Maybe, maybe you should be careful because the person who says that, that they won't die down there most likely might die down there. Be careful. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males are on their own. They're in Gonta protect men folk. Thank you, Gonta. You got our back. So sad. Awfully quiet. Where are Monokuma and the Mono Cubs? So d a n I was certain they would show up at some point. They crush us like rotten gnats. <laughs> they probably haven't noticed yet. <laughs> Then let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here.、Um, thank you for joining Alpha. As always, my troop, I hope you, I entertained you guys. You're enjoying this climb down the manhole, or at least we discovered that we can go down this.、Uh, until next episode, hit that like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave your comments down below. Later.